Yeah, you, you, right there, bro. Oh yeah, Leatherface got fucking buffed, and Hillbilly got a little bit of a change. But it's it's a weird situation because now we have an extremely defensive chainsaw character, and we have an extremely offensive chainsaw character, which is Hillbilly. Leatherface's defense. He probably has the number two to number three ranked defense in this entire fucking game. His basement defense, you might as well fucking go make a fucking sandwich. Because if you're in the basement, you're not getting out if you're facing a Leatherface. His offense after this patch, though, is still kind of meh. He's not, he was never an offensive character. He was definitely more of a defensive character. But his offense is definitely a lot better. Do I think at a high level, if played well at a high level, is he, like, good? I still think he's kind of in the same position that he was in the previous patch where he's just he wasn't he's in a mobile character and he just can't traverse the map and put pressure on gens that hard so eh, if you have a more defensive type of playstyle leatherface is definitely the way to go he's always been super defensive but if you're looking for an offensive chainsaw character hillbilly even though they added uh what the fuck they added an overheat to his chainsaw i think that's cool as fuck, but I think it still doesn't make a difference. They definitely made the Chantel characters a little bit more balanced with the charge up time and shit. Even though I missed the charge up time, the decreasing in charge up time so fucking much, like I want to cry. It's alright because it's still, it still kind of bounces. Even though survivors are broken as fuck, but we'll talk about that. With the Leatherface buff. Before I fucking break my nutsack. It's about time we bring back that intensity. And bro, I've been saving that in a little fucking bag. That little intensity, saving a little baggy. Just for this occasion. We got red ranks waiting for us, which means we need to make some sick ass fucking plays, some sick ass reads, some sick ass fucking mind games. I'm a little rusty, but I think it's about time we get back into this shit. He's ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into the perks. Alrighty, guys, now this is what we're rocking. We're gonna spilled for a nice leather face. That's about the fucking bro. If I get a three hit kill chain, oh, we could call them kill chains. Oh, shit. If we get a hit three hit kill chain, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. It's not gonna happen, but bro, if it happens, I swear to you guys, I'm gonna lose my mind. Anyways, our first perk, Thrilling Tremors. You guys should know what this is, so if you guys didn't know, the aura perks, or not aura perks, but aura in general, got changed completely. So now it's a lot harder to see survivor's whole, uh, aura, rather than, you know, being in it like a super duper bright red. So this aura change is technically a nerf to barbecue nurses. If I had to guess any vision perks that have auras, technically got a nerf, which I'm I'm okay with because now it takes a little bit more skill to figure out where the survivors are because it's so hard to see. But thrilling tremors at this moment, right now, is probably the best vision perk in the entire game. Just because of the bar uh, the, the aura nerf. So you guys already know what this is going to give us vision, information, and it's going to give us a general idea of what gen they're on so we don't have to waste time going on other gens, and it blocks off other gens. So if we have Hex Ruin, it's not going to regress, but yeah, when the Thrilling Germans gets off, gen's going to regress, and yeah. Then our next perk, Hex Ruin. You guys already know what this is. Probably going to be more useful in the early mid stages of the game. I doubt it's going to last a lick it, bro. My ruins... I've been lasting about like 20 seconds. I guess I'll go fuck myself, right? Mainly gonna be using the early game to not establish, I guess technically establish early game pressure and early game regression so we don't have to waste time hitting gens or having to force it down, put somebody in a hook and waste time hitting the gen. We're gonna get that instant regression and if we rig our chainsaw and we fucking chase them and they get off, still gonna get that instant regression and it's just gonna be extremely fucking convenient. Then our next perk, Pop. Goes the weasel! You guys should know what this is. Pretty much gonna be fucking warranty for our hex room when it gets ass fucked and it gets destroyed. So we're gonna have a secondary regression tool, which means we're not gonna get absolutely fucking demolished in the late game. So if we get to late game and we have Pop goes, uh, Pop goes the weasel, we're gonna be able to get instant regression if we're able to build up momentum and kind of punish the gen type. So if they want a gen type, I'm gonna Pop goes the weasel gen and they're gonna get fucked. Then our last perk, which is probably gonna be the most clutch perk. In our entire build and with Leatherface. If you're not using this perk on Leatherface, there might be a little issue. 
infectious fright. You guys should know what this is gonna give us vision, information, and bro, since we can. If you guys haven't seen Leatherface's rework, or uh, technically, is it a rework? Yeah, technically, it's a rework. You guys are about to see. But, bro, Infectious Fright on the new Leatherface? It, what is that? Necessity? Is that is it necessity or is it necessity? I'll oh, fuck that word. You need this perk on Leatherface because it's way too good not to have. So, not only if I down somebody with my chainsaw and I have the charges, I'm gonna have the chance to down another person with my chainsaw and just keep on fucking stacking up kills. And we only have three charges, so if we're able to get one down, we have a chance to get another fucking kill confirmed. And it's gonna be dope. Then our add ons The Beast's Marks! Moderately increases the chainsaw's movement speed, but slightly increases the charge up time. So it's gonna moderately increase our movement speed and slightly increase our charge up time, which means we're. So I've been using this a lot. And if you're going to use the beast marks, you definitely have to play a completely different way. Because if you're just going to walk up to somebody trying to get that insta chainsaw, it's not going to work. You're going to have to really use this increased movement speed to its fullest potential. And you're going to literally... You have to be really smart with this add-on. Because if you use this add-on and you're looking to insta chainsaw from somebody from point blank range, you're, not, you're going to fail miserably. When you're using this... You have to stay at some sort of range and use just use your charges super duper strategically because if you use it at point blank, you're not going to get the full potential of using this out of it. That makes sense. I apologize. What the fuck am I talking about? We're going to have to use this really smart. And that's the bottom line. Then our next add on award winning chili. Moderately increases dash duration when a token is consumed and moderately increases the additional chainsaw window. I still don't know what the fuck this means. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. If I have to guess, moderately increases dash duration when a token consumes. So maybe you get an extra dash when you consume a token. So moderately increases dash duration. Also increases the duration of the power? I think that's what that means. Somebody let me know because I'm actually like, genuinely confused. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. And moderately increases the additional chainsaw window, which means I think we get another uh, an extra chainsaw hit. So, yeah, so if we get that extra hit chainsaw hit and we get a moderately increased dash when we consume a token, we're gonna be chasing somebody like they fucking just they stole our fucking, our fucking chocolate or something. I don't know. What do you think Leatherface likes? Stole our fucking. Stole a tie. Yeah. That's fucking. What the fuck? That's retarded. Then our offering, Faint Reagent, slightly thickens the dark mist. Leatherface, I know you're ready, and we have a fucking huge, huge, huge game ahead of us because I've yet to get a fucking Merciless with your ass, so why are you chasing it too short, goddammit? Our main goal, we're gonna try to get a Merciless, I doubt it's gonna happen. But with Leatherface's thick ass, if we make the most sickest fucking plays of existence, and we, I want to get at least a three kill chain this game. And Leatherface, I don't know if you fucking speak English. You he, he fucking speaks gibberish. I don't know what the fuck this dude speaks. But regardless of what you speak, I know you can hear me. I don't, I, I actually don't know if this guy can hear me. I know you can hear me. I think you can hear me. I'm gonna need you to make some thick ass fucking plays today. And since we're gonna be facing red ranks, I'm gonna need sweat drip down your forehead. And bro, let's get back into this shit. He's ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into this shit. Gas Heaven. Auto Haven Wreckers. Mm. If we're able to put somebody in the basement, in the gas station, this might be a fucking slaughter, dude. Let's do this. What the actual titties in my ass? Hello? hello? A blueberry flesh? No fucking way. The return? Are you still up there? No, you run away. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use my chainsaw. Oh, never mind. What the fuck? Oh, there's no pelly. Holy shit. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, uh, doing that on a controller made me lose fucking brain cells. Basement? The moment I say basement in the gas station, we fucking get it, dude. This game might be over. What? Wretched shop. Auto Haven Wreckers. Ooh. Ah, oh, as long as there's not a fucking double window loop, 
I think we should be fine. If we can build momentum in the early game, bro, the amount of fucking... What the fuck? Still on that gem. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> The fact that I got this chick was actually insane. Get up, what is it, cherry flesh? Bro, I haven't seen cherry flesh in like 3,500 years. Get him up and pay the price of death, cherry flesh, poop. If that was old Leatherface, I probably would have never gotten that chick on that shit. Now they popped off. Hmm. Yeah, they got her. None of my ruined though. Yeah, if I had the guy, if we can keep on building momentum around this area, we'll be so Gucci, dude. These are probably what? Yeah, around these? What the fuck? Uh oh. What? Hello? Oh, she has spurt, but I was like, why the fuck are you just standing there? Got it. I'm so glad she dropped up. Jukes? No jukes? I thought she was gonna try to fucking like hippity hop can't stop fucking juke my ass. Drop it. Didn't drop it. Huh? <laughs> That's at the edge too. Hello! What there's more people in the more people wanna die? Can I go on this way? <laughs> Ooh, I cannot believe bro! What is going on? Oh, yo, we're making thick ass plays. Get up. Who's this? Marshmallow Flesh? Mm. Bro, that must be. I don't know how it is, but that must be like a confusing ass mind game to figure out where the fuck Leatherface is going. Hold up. Get him up and put the price of stuff. Is this chick still here? She ran away. No, she's still. What the fuck? She's doing fucking the starfish technique on the floor. She's like break it. Somebody's on my left. What the fuck? Uh oh. This is where the game yeah. might literally fucking end. Get a monk and pay the price of death. Uh oh. Here, I'm gonna let that chick get that chick because I kind of want more blood points. If I keep on, like, if I would have downed that chick, that would have got that chick and put them both on a hook, that's a fat ass brutal because they would not be able to defend or uh, be able to get them off the hook. There's no power there, what the fuck? That or? Ah! Uh, what did- what's it? No, Cherry Flush didn't drop that power, did she? I have no yeah. fucking idea. Get a book and pay the price of death. All momentum is so real right now. All momentum is real, but like... Wait, they did one gem? When the fuck? When the fuck did they do a gem? The fuck? Got my rank on my left. Uh-oh. They go to the window. Wall, she fucked up. Oh, you're the one with Sprippers too, right? Ah! Boop. Boop. Let's see if we can get a fucking two-way kill chain. I doubt it, but let's see. What the fuck? Ah! Even the fucking dead bar, dude. Bro, the chase potential on like open app. Did I just see some? No, I'll show you. I thought I just saw someone. I was like, what the fuck was that? Bro, the chase potential on Leatherface and like a big open map is so ridiculously good. Get him looking for the price of death. Get him, what the f Why does this guy have no. Is he homeless flesh? Nah, he can't be homeless flesh. Streaker flesh? This guy. What the fuck? This guy might as well be fucking butt ass naked. Get him looking for the price of death. Yeah, if we're fa What? Hello! What the fuck? Drop it. Oh no. I was wondering why she did that. She had burial time. Did she instant heal as well? Oh, she must have burial time too. Hold on. No, no, no. Wait, what the fuck? I'm so. What the fuck? I'm so confused who I should chase right now because I'm not. I'm not trying to tunnel, but damn, you guys are just running around like a bunch of fucking ant ears. Get it. I think this chick's dead. Decisive? No, this chick is dead. Yeah, this game is 100% of- what the fuck? Are you trying to break my hook? Get him up and pay the price of death! I feel like she's just gonna go back, is she not?
Damn, bro. I was hoping I'd see what they got be going that way. Drop it. Drop it. Break the shit. Boop. Bro, just chasing people with the chainsaw is just so much fucking fun. Trying to think. What would be the best way to counter left place? Probably run around like a tight spot, right? Oh, this shit is dead. That arm? Oh, that arm. Ah! Jesus Christ, that aim assist is fucking real, dude. Get him, Marshmallow Flesh. They found my rune. Bro, I don't know why my rune has been going like every fucking 30 seconds. As soon as the match starts, it's fucking dead. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? I just got back. Like the shit. Bro, this is starting to feel like, um. Do, does Dead by Daylight even have like fucking seasons? This is feeling like I'm playing like 2018 Dead by Daylight by how fast the fuck you did not just do that. Oh, fuck. I feel like if you're facing a Leatherface, right, it's probably best that you don't heal, especially if you have Dead Heart. Dead Heart counts is so fucking hard. Oh, fuck, what am I right? Go for the window. Slow bolt. Oh, you did? Why the fuck are you, both you guys here? You guys trying to fucking aim my ass? Drop it. Oh, he went for the bolt again. I probably could have hit him right there, to be honest. But why? She probably, probably because she has a slice of shit. She just wants to fucking. What the fuck? Come back. Oh, GG. Dead hard? Oh, he dead hearted early! <gasps> Dude. Oh my god. Hello! Uh oh. <laughs> this game's over. Do I think we got a merciless? Fuck no. I don't think we got enough in brutality. But bro, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck just happened to be out. My brain is so confused. I don't know, man. This is confusing. Because I'm trying to think whether Leatherface is like. Hold on. Get him up and put it up. Because Leatherface is definitely a lot better than what he was. But is he good to consistently play at a high level against high level people? I don't think so. But so far, when I've been facing Rhetorix, it's been going pretty fucking decent. Ruthless killer! Alright, moment of truth. What was I facing? Oh wow, we almost got fucking merciless. Wow, so we were facing red ranks. So what I think... Because I'm trying to wrap my head around this, whether Leatherface is, like, a really, really viable red rank killer. I don't know, what I'm starting to think is that a lot of red rank people haven't found a way to play against Leatherface yet. But I think if we give it, like, give it a week, a week or two, people are going to figure out how to face against, or how to play against Leatherface. And it's probably going to be a pain. And that same thing, like, what they did with the Pyramid Head. A lot of people started figuring out how to play against Pyramid Head, like, maybe, like, a week or two after. So I think, ah, it's way too early to tell whether Leatherface is extremely good. I still think we should give it, like, a week. Personally, I think Hillbilly is probably a lot better just because he's more mobile and there's a lot of different perks you can combine with his add-ons. But, ah. Leatherface with that hot badass defense and if you're able to steamroll in the early game, I think that's what it is. If you're able to steamroll in the early game with Leatherface, it's so hard for survivors to get momentum back that I think people just haven't figured it out yet. What's everybody using? So we had, what, Live, Adrenaline, Burled Time, We're Gonna Live Forever, Sprint Burst, Adrenaline, Iron Will, Burled Time. Wow, so Burled Time actually really, really hurts Leatherface since I think a lot of people are probably gonna uh, play Leatherface. You're gonna see a lot of Burled Times, especially if you're in your uh, red rank matches, because that counters Leatherface so hard. What's that? There's another perk too. I don't know, Burled Time, probably gonna see that in every single one of my red rank matches, to be honest. It's way too good against Leatherface. Decisive. Yeah, nothing crazy. You guys tried, and you failed. We'll get him next time. Alrighty guys, well that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really fucking appreciate it. If you like this video, please like and sub. And don't forget to hit that notification button to get notified when I upload. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apologies for no upload this week. My fucking air conditioning wasn't working for a good maybe five days. And it was like 80 something degrees in my house. Bro, I'll sweat my fucking balls off. I don't think I was home 
the past four days it was broken. But bro, so far what I'm seeing, I guess it depends what red ranks you're facing. If you're facing like a four man survivor friends, I think Leatherface is going to be extremely difficult to play against or not to play against. If your survivor is going to be a little easier to play against if you're running a four man survivor friends. But if you're like running a solo with other red ranks, I think it's a little bit more difficult because you don't have the communication. But bro, Burrow time is so good against uh, Leatherface. It's definitely, it already was meta. Burl time is going to be even more meta because of the Leatherface uh, rework. So, bro, I still think Hillbilly is a little bit better, or uh, better, only because of the uh, different combination of perks and add-ons that you can have. But, bro, overall, Leatherface is looking pretty good right now, dude. I'm not even going to fuck with you. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow will be Hillbilly since he got fucking... It wasn't technically a rework, it wasn't even a rework, it was like kind of like a change, but bro, he got uh, new add-on changes, and bro, the combinations we made with his new add-ons are fucking insane. But uh, yeah, 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 hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, and good night.